I heard those tongues, and they come up right up here. They come right out of my spirit, and I stopped them. I wouldn't speak them out. I don't know why. Something had hindered me about that. Stuff I'd heard, stuff I'd seen maybe, I don't know. Something hindered me, but I stopped it. They come to right there. I heard them. I heard them. Tongues that would rise up. And I stopped them. Boy, I wish I wouldn't have stopped them because I went through hell over that. The devil tormented me. He, he told me, oh, you didn't get filled with the Holy Spirit. But I know I did. I know I did. And such an experience come on my life. Things that had had me bound instantly was removed. I used to use bad language and instantly it was gone. Gone. And a, and a love come in me that I'd never experienced in my life, a love for everyone, no matter who you were or what you were or what you've done or what you haven't done. That was the love of God now. That's not, a, that's not man's love. Man, man can't love like that. That was the love of God. And the Bible says that the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, by the Holy Ghost. So that's just what the doctor ordered. I couldn't overcome. I couldn't hear. And, and I fell in love with the Bible. Not with the Bible but with him. This is his word. I've learned not to separate this. This is his word. You can't separate this word from him. This is his word. So I fell in love with it. I didn't understand it, but I fell in love with it. And I began to read, and I began to see little things, and little pieces of the puzzle began to come. And the Holy Spirit began to help me, and I began to see and the love of God that was shed abroad in my heart for people. Oh my, what a love. That is the love of God. To help and bless and not hurt. To be a blessing to. To be a servant to. The love of God. What an awesome thing. So that's what happened to this Baptist boy. <laughs> Amen. I said amen. Now, now, since that time, I've seen a lot of things. I've experienced a lot of things. I've prayed for people. I've seen them healed. I've, I've, seen, I've, I've been used by the Holy Spirit. And this is no glory to me. I, the, the, all the glory be to God because God can change a person. He can change you. He can make you new. He can give you something you need. He can give you... The Holy Spirit that you so desperately, you may not know it's Him, but you know something's missing. You have to, something's not right. Amen. And He could come into your life and change you. Are you hearing? He can change you and He can help you overcome every obstacle. Every obstacle if you'll just listen and do. He'll help you. And I knew that we had to have. And then, and then it became, I saw the revelation that after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall receive power. And then he said, you'll be witnesses unto me. So a real witness for somebody has to know him. You can't be a very good witness for someone if you don't know them, if they're a stranger to you. You say, you could ask me, say, do you know so-and-so? No, I don't know him. He's a stranger. How could I be a witness for him? How could I tell you what kind of man this is or a woman or a person? I can't do that. I don't know him. But by and through the Holy Spirit, we can know him. And then we can become 
a witness for him, a real witness. They begin to realize that God is a good God, that God is a God of mercy and grace and forgiveness. And he said, I am the Lord thy God that healeth thee. We begin to see that he's a healer. Praise God. Amen. We begin to see that he forgives us of all of our iniquities. Praise God. We begin to see a good God. And then we can become that witness for Jesus. And he, as he said, And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, he said, they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. I believe those things. 